But I also think, um, you know, going into this creator economy that we're building, um, you know, in the music industry, for example, they're yeah. using blockchain technology to be able to, you know, sell their uh, creative content, distribute their creative content, but still hold those assets. Um, that's an example in the music industry, but you can translate that to so many other levels. Hey folks, Flo here with Crypto News Canada. We're here at the Canadian Blockchain Summit, which is nearly wrapping up. Everybody's actually walking into the room just as we're shooting one of our last interviews. I'm here with Morali from Computech and many other things he does and he'll tell you about. Uh, super excited. So Morali, why don't you introduce yourself in one minute or less? Sure, my name's Morali Sri Narayana Das and uh, I'm the chair of 369 Global and the CEO of Computech College. Okay. Uh, we're in a very interesting space. We really believe in diversity and, uh, and being in Canada, there's a lot of immigrants that come with a lot of fantastic talents. Uh, we want to help guide them into the Canadian workforce through Computech College but also as a group, uh, leverage those talents into upcoming business opportunities, yeah. um, whether it's our creative agency, uh, we're looking at opportunities in the labor market, bringing in labor from overseas, so many exciting things happen. And Computech, that, that the name alone is quite intriguing, Com Computech yes. College, something to do with computer technology? Yeah, so uh, the college started in 1991, I okay. bought it in uh, 2014, and okay. uh, so it's, it's a private enterprise. It's a private enterprise, okay. and uh, it's known for uh, uh, its technology courses, but we do business, uh, healthcare, and technology. Uh, so we supply uh, a lot of support to uh, hospitals, long-term care homes, etc. Um, but yeah, on the technology side, I mean, there's so many exciting things happening in technology, and um, it's it's about training people into those growing opportunities, um, like blockchain. Yeah, well, that was my <laughs> next question. I mean, from computer technology to blockchain, where we're pretty close there. What, what, why did you come to the very first Canadian Blockchain Summit? I think, I think it's very exciting what uh, the CBC has been doing um, in terms of uh, getting an association to really speak for the industry. Um, so I wanted to see some of the key players that are coming to the event. Um, but also from as an educator, uh, this is such, a, such an important uh, sector of blockchain, um, touching on so many aspects, whether it's government, business, etc. Um, and so w what kinds of curriculums are available so that we can train more people, bring some more knowledge uh, into the sector, and train people for the upcoming job opportunities? Well, the job opportunities was my next question, so thank yes. you for <laughs> queuing me in so nicely. Sure. Uh, so what kind of opportunities do you see for employers and employees, uh, and what challenges do you see actually? What, what, what gap needs to be filled, basically? Yeah, I think, you know, uh, I, I, I was talking to one of the vendors here. They're doing some things in uh, uh, blockchain curriculum for financial advisors okay. uh, in the financial uh, services industry, which I think is critical. Um, thinking about uh, uh, digital assets and such, you need that knowledge and, and uh, there's a growing market there. So I think that's very important. Um, but even if you look at the digitization of businesses um, going as simple as creating your website, this is all changes in business and, and this is all coming on the blockchain side. So okay. as, as uh, someone that has um, you know a career, you want to be ahead of this upcoming changes that are going to happen in the marketplace. So I think the more knowledge you can get on that, the more uh, attractive you are as a candidate for any business. Um, and at the end of the day, I think the, the asset class that's building here as an individual and providing that knowledge to uh, to the public is very important. So I want Computech to be a leader in that space. And is there a particular fit between uh, blockchain and, and immigrants, newcomers into Canada that maybe sometimes can't always find a job in, let's say, traditional industries because there are all sorts of, you know, maybe uh, layers of red tape that sure. make it a bit too complicated for them? Yeah, I, I think it's on two fronts. One is, yes, I think, uh, uh, um, um, 
it, you know, it's a new asset class, right? And I think, uh, especially in Toronto, a lot of people can't afford um, houses right now yes. um, and a lot of other things. But here's a new digital asset class that uh, that provides opportunity. So I think, to your point, for immigrants, um, you know, maybe they can uh, use this as an opportunity to grow their wealth um, if, if they understand it. And, you know, there's a lot of knowledge that, uh, that they need to build there. But I also think, um, you know, going into this creator economy that we're building, um, you know, in the music industry, for example, they're using blockchain technology to be able to, you know, sell their uh, creative content, distribute their creative content, but still hold those assets. Um, that's an example in the music industry, but you can translate that to so many other levels. So for us, serving newcomers, I think, you know, this is one strong way we can bring uh, opportunities for newcomers, whether it's um, in, in employment or whether they want to set up in their own home and, and tap into this digital nomad lifestyle. Yeah, wow, you speak very well. That was very, very clear. Um, so here we have a little gimmick uh, challenge or question. Sure. Um, we we want to educate and so we want to do these little uh, explainer clips, 30 seconds or less. Sure. Uh, I know your personal interest in the space uh, lies around DAOs in particular. Yes. So what is a DAO in 30 seconds or less, you can look at the camera if you want. Okay, sure. Uh, a DAO is a digi digital auto... I'm going to start this yeah, again. Of course, of course. <laughs> decentralized autonomous... Yes. A DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization. Um, and it's, uh, it's extremely unique. It, it allows every single person that's part of a DAO to have a vote uh, and contribute to the direction of the organization. Very clear. I like that. That was uh, even useful for me. So, um, any final thoughts? Uh, what was your experience here? Did you enjoy yourself? Was it worth for you coming here to Calgary? Uh, you probably know that the next conference uh, is likely to be in Toronto uh, for uh, the Canadian uh, Blockchain Summit. H how, how have you experienced this? I thought it was wonderful. Uh, I, I came to see leaders in the industry. There was a lot of interesting discussions. I learned so much uh, in the panel discussions. Uh, very s nice to see the growth of CBC as well. Um, Calgary is very exciting. I, I have to throw in Calgary also. Um, there's a lot of excitement that's happening that we see in Toronto. People are coming to Calgary. So I wanted to uh, uh, see the city and the excitement as well. Uh, but going back to the CBC, I think it's very important to have an association like this to lead the discussions um, in terms of policy and, uh, and, and industry. So uh, very excited to be here and very excited for them to host an event in Toronto. And what do you take away personally? What do you uh, sort of, uh, what will be your inspiration in terms of what you will maybe do differently after this experience? Um, the curriculum's a very important one for me. So um, seeing some of the things, I, I didn't realize how much was happening in the insurance space um, mm -hmm. in, in, in this sector in terms of blockchain. So uh, I think that's a very important um, uh, knowledge share that I have to take back to the team. Uh, we're doing some uh, financial literacy workshop right now at Computech College okay. um, to educate uh, newcomers on credit score, buying a home, etc. Um, but this is also an up and coming field. So I think how do we incorporate this blockchain knowledge um, to, to our students and, and, uh, and, and our other learning partners. And we hear that all the time. Education is one of the most important elements of this uh, burgeoning uh, asset class or sector, yes. as you said earlier. Yes. So uh, thank you very much, uh, Morali. Thank you. This was Morali with Computech and, as I said earlier, a number of other uh, you know, uh, hats that he wears or uh, leadership positions. Check him out on LinkedIn or on Twitter. I think he's there too. Yes. Uh, this is Flow, Future Flow on Twitter with Crypto News Canada at the Canadian Blockchain Summit. One of our very last interviews, I think. But uh, okay. see you around. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow, like, and help us grow Canada's voice in crypto. See you around.